Hey, I want one of those. Lucky for me, I've got one of those. Yes, indeed. I am in fact the proud owner of this four penny paper theater. And I am very excited to sort of unravel it, construct it, and then maybe see about uh, making a few modifications of my own. We'll see how it goes. It's like a comic book. So let's see. Oh, this is the script. And also the instructions on how to actually do this. So it looks like what we have here is a lot of sheets that I'm going to need to cut out in order to construct this. So let's get to slicing. But actually, before we get to cutting, uh, let's change out the X-Acto blade real quick. Safety first. So as you can see, I just cut along the lines and because this theater is made up of like roughly a million little paper pieces, I had to repeat that about a million times. So here's a very sped up time lapse of me using an X-Acto blade to cut through everything. In hindsight, I really could have just used scissors. Oh, took a quick break to glue some parts together and then realized that it would be easier to just cut everything out first. So that's what I'm doing. Just a solid, solid amount of cutting out. Man, if I didn't have carpal tunnel before starting this project, I would have developed it by the end of it. I did all of this in like one night. I don't know what came over me. The spirit of theater possessed me and I basically just sat down at 6 p.m. and then finished this at like 2 a.m. So not all of these pieces are actually necessary for the theater, though the vast majority are. The rest are just little scenes and backdrops that I can add to the theater in order to sort of change the setting and do different plays. After I cut the pieces out, I also take an X-Acto blade and lightly score along the fold lines so that the pieces will fold more easily since this is a pretty thick cardstock, which is great because it means the theater is like more sturdy, but also not ideal for my little carpal tunnel hands to be applying so much force with an X-Acto blade. It's a good thing I replaced the blade at the start of this. Nothing is more dangerous than a dull knife. Remember that. Anyway, this was around the point where I realized, hey, I'm almost done. And then I looked at an entire page of little characters, all with precise little details, all waiting to be cut out. This is when I pulled out the scissors. So I did a rough pass where I sort of just went around the edges of them, and then I took the X-Acto blade and did a finer, closer cut. I didn't actually cut out all of the white because, uh, to be honest, the figures are a lot more sturdy with that white. And also, I value my hands. Thank you. That being said, this was rather soothing and cathartic. I love little projects like this where I can just kind of turn my brain off. Let's get all this paper out of the way and start setting everything up. So I folded all of the pieces, glued them together. So this is the top of the stage and I'm gluing it to the front of the stage using a bone folder to really make sure we've got maximum adhesion. Don't forget to get those little back flaps. Now I'm adding the tiny nobles into their tiny little opera seating booths. Look how cute that is. Welcome to your forever home, nobles. With that out of the way, the general facade of the stage, I'm going to start actually constructing the physical bones of this thing. So doing a basic little box at the bottom, gluing that all together, then taking the stage floor and gluing that on top. I of course did it crookedly and then had to unpeel it and re-glue it down, but I'm not showing that part. It's perfect as is, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. With the stage on, I add the little side panels and then I just go ahead, I feel like we need a little music, start the music, add a little orchestra in there, how lovely. Now the stage descends from the sky, look at that. And it's time to construct the rest of this thing, which of course I completely ruined by sticking my big fat head in the way. Very well done, Noelle. 
Man, looking at me now from this angle, I really need a haircut. Lucky me, I already have all the cutting tools I need directly on that cutting board. I'm kidding. Don't cut your hair with a pair of paper scissors and an X-Acto knife. Use a rotary cutter instead. Anyway, with those pieces done, here's how they look. So I'm kind of testing it out just to make sure that everything works and is kosher. You can't really see it, but there is a white edge to the paper since it's a thick cardstock. So I just took a black marker and went around the edges in order to hide that. Here's some of the characters you can see up close. They're rather cute, I think. And then here's essentially how the stage works. As you can see, there's a sort of scaffolding that you can put the paper scenes on, which when seen from the front, acts very much like a layered set, which is extremely convenient and nice for showing different characters. In order to bring the characters in, you put them on these little sliding panels and then just sort of slip them in and out of stage right. So from the front, that would look a little bit like this. Ta-da! Honestly, I'm really thrilled with how this theater like looks and I think I'll be able to do a lot of really fun stuff with it. Such as this important masterpiece here. Very nice. But with all seriousness, I hereby present to you. Please enjoy.